what are we talking about when we say routing protocols? Routing protocols are the protocols of routers. Okay, so what we mean is routers talking to routers on the network, talking with each other, sharing routes and routing information with each other. Now, routing protocols are different than, let's say, a routed protocol. A routed protocol would be something like um, IP, Internet Protocol. TCP IP is a routable protocol, a routed protocol. A routing protocol is different. A routing protocol is a protocol used by a router. So um, here's two types. We've got uh, IGP and EGP, or Interior Gateway Protocols and Exterior Gateway Protocols. Okay, quite simply, uh, Interior Gateway Protocols are um, routing protocols such as RIP, RIP version 2, IGRP, EIGRP, OSPF, and ISIS or ISIS. In the Cisco CCNA, you're required to know how to configure RIP, RIP version 2, um, EIGRP, and OSPF. Uh, you used to be able to have to know uh, IGRP also, but IGRP has been um, uh, succeeded by EIGRP, and IGRP is no longer being taught. It's kind of a uh, ISIS is um, CCNP material. And then BGP, an exterior gateway protocol, is also CCNP ma material. Um, the border gateway protocol, this one right here, is uh, used for going from um, usually ISPs to ISPs or from autonomous systems to ISPs. Um, and uh, once again, that's CCNP stuff. But you need to know what it is, the two different types, interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocols. Okay, so we're going to mostly be talking in the Cisco CCNA about interior gateway protocols. We're talking about two types, um, distance vector and link state protocols. All right? Okay, distance vector protocols are protocols such as RIP, RIP version 2, IGRP, and EG, EIGRP, EIGRP. IGRP and EIGRP uh, are both Cisco proprietary protocols um, written by Cisco. And uh, RIP and RIP version 2, RIP is the oldest routing protocol out there. It's, it's quite old and it's a little bit outdated, but we still learn it in the Cisco curriculum. And then um, link state protocols, I've got here OSPF, um, Open Shortest Path First, and ISIS. And you have to know how to um, configure OSPF in the Cisco CCNA. So let's talk about some of the differences between distance vector and link state protocols. Okay, in distance vector protocols, routers communicate with uh, neighboring routers, advertising networks as measures of distance and vector. Okay, so, um, so the thing to remember there is routers are communicating with neighbor routers, right? As opposed to link state, where routers communicate with all other routers, exchanging link state information to build a topology of the entire network. Um, so uh, in a link state, routers communicate with all other routers. Distance vector, routers are communicating with neighbor routers. And um, let's go to the next um, row here. So measures of distance and vector. Well, in distance vector, um, distance refers to the metric. So the distance, like in RIP, would be hop count. So how many hops or how many routers to get to a network? How many routers do you have to pass to get to a network? Or how many hops do you have to get to? That would be the distance, which is also known as the metric. And then vector means direction, which in this case with routers would be which interface are you going to go out of? Okay, and with a link state, the words link state refer to the interfaces on the routers or the links to other routers and other networks. So when you talk about a link state, we're talking about the state of the link um, or connection to another network. Um, and those, of course, you know, uh, the links can go up or down. All right, distance vector, what's it best for? Distance vector is best for simple networks of a flat design, non-hierarchical networks like a hub and spoke networks. Um, and uh, also, it's best for, the, they're a little bit simpler, distance vector, so you need minimum administrator knowledge to configure them. And they don't converge as fast as link state routing protocols, so it's good for a network where convergence time is not an issue.
okay and I'll talk about what does that mean convergence time so on the opposite side uh, link state is best for uh, larger networks that are have a hierarchical design uh, hierarchical networks you need uh, more advanced administrator knowledge um, for instance OSPF is a uh, complex um, routing protocol um, I've got a huge book over there all about OSPF and uh, it's also a CCNP topic that you can go very deep into and can be a complex routing protocol um, so you need advanced administrator knowledge and um, it's best if the network if convergence time is an issue right if you want your networks to converge and they need to figure out the routers need to figure out about the network quickly then you might be best to go with a link state protocol now what is convergence convergence when we're talking about routers means that all the routers in the network have the same picture of the network so let's say you have three routers in the network and one of the networks goes down one of the links goes down all right when that link goes down um, if if all the routers no longer know about that that network being down then the network has not converged okay once all of the routers have learned that the network is gone and that the network has gone down and the links gone then the network has converged so a uh, converged network means that all the routers have the same information and know when a network is up or down okay and so and how do they learn that they learn that by communicating with each other so uh, when a network goes down the routers need to communicate with each other and let them know that hey this network is down and once everybody knows then the network has converged okay so on the next row here I've got um, with distance vector uh, knowledge of the network from directly connected neighbors so um, in, with a distance vector routing protocol routers can build an entire picture of the network through directly connected neighbors so we learn about other networks and the distances to other networks and so eventually we can learn about all the networks in the um, all of the available networks in our system right by communicating from router to router about the different networks that each router has but in a link state routing protocol the routers don't just know um, from router to router routers have a complete view of the network they have the not knowledge of all of the links that all of the routers have and so they have knowledge of the entire topology and then they can build the best path to a, a route or the best path and a route to a network based on um, information of all of the routers so they have knowledge of complete view of the network and these are key terms so if it, if the question on if you're taking trying to get your CCNA and trying to do the CCNA exam and the question says you know which routing protocol builds a complete view of the network well that's going to be link state right if you have an in, build an entire topology of the network that's link state right knowledge only from directly connected neighbors um, that's distance vector okay um, distance vector routing protocols send periodic updates of the entire routing up uh, table oftentimes so um, for instance with rip every 30 seconds rip sends out its entire routing table to its directly connected neighbors right so every 30 seconds rip sends out entire routing table right um, with link state routing protocols they send um, triggered updates and partial updates so they send oftentimes only the information that you need and only when a network goes down so that's what I mean by triggered and then partial it's just the information that you need about a particular network going down or a particular link going down and that's sent on a triggered state